it's RSN. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Alana here from the Fancy Navajo. Today I thought it'd be fun to share a typical Saturday morning. I love making a fancy breakfast for my husband and I on the weekends and it's my time to slow things down a bit more and make some of our favorite foods. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our coffee brewing, getting our water ready for our tea and let's get cooking. One of my favorite things to make on the weekend is homemade bread. Today I thought it would be fun to switch it up a little bit and make some homemade biscuits using my recipe on the fancynavho.com. It's called Fancy Navajo Magic Bread because it's a recipe that can make biscuits, tortillas, and even fry bread. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can be fancy too. And if you ever make anything from thefancynavajo.com, feel free to send me a picture. I love seeing all of your fancy creations. It makes me so happy, especially when you're making your own bread and biscuits like I am here. You say potato, I say potato, or in this case, we're just preparing our potatoes for Spam and Potatoes, which is going to be the main dish for breakfast. It's one of my favorite res food favorites. I absolutely love this. It is so comforting, and who doesn't like Spam? Growing up, peeling potatoes was my go-to job, so I guess you can say I'm an expert potato peeler. I also didn't grow up using a cutting board or a fancy knife like this when I was little. Growing up, all my family members, especially my mom and my grandma, would always use a paring knife and their hands to cut any type of vegetable and I always remember being so fascinated by it with them not cutting themselves. But today, I was being a little bit lazy and used my fancy cutting board and knife to slice my potatoes. Alrighty, so now on to the star of the meal, Spam! I love Spam, it is one of my favorite breakfast staples. I enjoy it very much. Um, I do usually get the light Spam, however with the pandemic, I've only been able to find this particular kind of Spam. Still does the job, but I definitely prefer the light Spam. So does anyone else find cutting through Spam so satisfying? It is just so easy to cut through and you can essentially cut it into any shape that you want. I like cutting my Spam into little cubes, but you know, one day I might start cutting my Spam into sheep. I have cut my Spam into little hearts and it is so cute, especially around Valentine's Day, but today we're keeping things simple. some Spam and Potato ASMR.
almost the end of making our fancy Saturday morning breakfast. I like to end by making some scrambled eggs. I like my eggs hot and fresh. And I was so sad my local grocery store didn't have my favorite eggs, which are Vital Farm eggs. So instead, I settled for a local favorite called Hickman's eggs. But I really could use some Vital Farms eggs for this. So if I had to name one favorite kitchen utensil, it would have to be my fancy gold whisk. I love my mini whisk. I use it to stir everything and I would be so sad if I was ever without it. So before we make our scrambled eggs, I can smell that our spam and potatoes are almost done. We're just going to give them a little stir here to see how they're doing. And as you can see, they are looking so delicious and I see some little golden bits there. Those are my favorite, but we're going to let this cook a little bit more and check on our biscuits. So since this is a fancy Saturday morning breakfast, I'm going to put our wonderfully baked biscuits in a little uh, dish here to keep them warm until it's time to eat. And now a quick pause while I make my morning tea. I didn't even realize I didn't even brew it before I started cooking. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what's in this tea. Anyone else very particular on how their eggs are cooked? I am such an egg snob. I do not like overcooked eggs one bit. I definitely get that from my mom. She loves runny eggs and I don't particularly like runny eggs unless they are a fried egg or an over easy egg, but I like a nice light scramble and definitely no overcooked eggs. And if there's one takeaway from this video, please do not overcook your eggs. The trick to this is to constantly stir your eggs and once they look done, take them off the heat immediately. We are all done cooking and so now it's time to enjoy our fancy breakfast, pour yourself a cup of coffee, make some tea, and let's sit down and enjoy our meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if we aren't friends on social media, definitely give me a follow on Instagram at the Fancy Navajo and at the Fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. I've really enjoyed making these videos and I can't wait to make more. And as always, the full recipe will be on thefancynavajo.com. I will link both recipes down in the description box below, so make sure to go and check that out. And until next time, take care, be kind to another, and I'll see you later. Bye!